Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back uh, to the final part of my Blu-ray and 3D and 4K collection. Um, now, I will be doing my DVDs. Um, I'll probably be doing them at a later date because um, there is another hundred or two of them. <laughs> But yeah, so this is going to be the final video for now. Uh, as I said, I'll do those at a later date. But um, for now, this will be it. This is the final part, part eight, I believe. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty good. Um, I was scared I was going to be doing like 12 or 13 videos, but eight videos is pretty consistent. So this is all going to be my 4K titles. Um, I don't have many, so it will be quite a quick video. I do have a 4K TV uh, and I do have a 4K player, so I am watching these. Um, I'm not buying ahead, which is a good idea. Um, I did do that for a few of these, uh, bought ahead before getting the setup, but um, I've, I've had the setup since December, well, yeah, December, early December of last year, so quite recent. Um, you know, I'm always tossing between getting the 3D or the 4K release. If there's a if there's both in one package, I'll get that. But yeah, um, let's get started. <laughs> uh, first off, we've got the steelbook for Alien Covenant, um, the HMV steelbook. Very nice steelbook. Really, really enjoyed this. I had this way before the 4K setup. Um, I mainly got it for the steelbook and the film, um, but not the 4K. Uh, but now I can watch it in 4K. Um, I really enjoyed this film. I had a great time watching it. I love Prometheus. Only thing that bugged me was the shower scene at the end where they were playing music and there was an alien on board. It was very, it was a very tense scene, but the music during the shower scene really just killed the mood. Um, to me, it killed the mood. Um, but other than that, great. The, the, the scene where the, uh, the landing craft on the planet gets destroyed, love it. Um, but yeah, very nice steelbook. I'll show you quickly because it's not in a wrap, plastic wrap. Um, but yeah, 4K and Blu-ray, digital copy as well. Um, get the artwork there as well. So yeah, very nice steelbook. And uh, yeah fan of the movie. Um, I actually haven't heard anything really about the, the the next one so I'll have to read up on that but yeah, Alien Covenant. Um, a lot of these, I because I've only just got them recently, a lot of these have been in like my, my past two updates so I'm not going to talk a lot about them. Uh, American Made with Tom Cruise. Uh, very good film. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. He is importing illegal goods from country to country, whether it's weapons or drugs uh, or money. Um, very good film. Really enjoy it. I'm not the hugest Tom Cruise fan, but I really enjoyed this film. I thought he did a great job. And um, it's full frame. The 4K looks very good, very bright and vibrant colours. Um, definitely a recommendation on the 4K format. Um, yeah, nice little two disc set. Um, yeah, I'll show you the discs inside for most of these just because it'll be a shorter video. Uh, we've got the Blu-ray and then the 4K and the digital. Um, yeah, good film. Um, I love this scene. There's a scene where they're having to hide a ton of money because the cops are going to come and search their house. So they kind of buy tons of jewellery which they can then sell um, because there's some rule where if they're whatever they're wearing they're allowed to keep so of course all their arms and stuff they've all got jewelry so they can't take away that but also they can sell that or melt it to make money um so i love that scene um but yeah american made good film one of my favorites of last year baby driver um edgar wright loved this film jamie fox was amazing in this film i love jamie fox's character um, Ansel Elgort, is that the guy that plays Baby? Very good job. Um, I love when movies incorporate music, um, so like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I love how they did that for this film as well. Um, great story, really great story. Came with a slipcover. Um, I don't think there was a 4K steelbook, I think it was only Blu-ray. Digital, um, and then 4K and Blu-ray. 
disc. No artwork on the on the 4K, unfortunately. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. Um, loved it. Loved how it ended. Um, and yeah, I look forward to the next film that uh, Ansel Elgort, Elgort does. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. Uh, and and Ed, Edgar Wright. See what movie he does next. Batman v Superman. I'm not going to talk about it really because I talked about it in my 3Ds. But um, I don't hate it and I don't love it. There's some moments I love. There's some moments I don't like. Um... Lex Luthor, I'm not really that keen on. Uh, and to be honest, the 4K was a bit underwhelming. I actually prefer watching the 3D. I don't think it looked that much better than Blu-ray at all. Um, you know, the end battle scene with um, Doomsday looked great because it's all the flames and stuff like that. But most of the other movie, it was, it was just average. Um, but yeah, I got it with a slip. I wanted it in the collection because it's a big movie and... All the other DC ones from now on will come out in 4K, so I did kind of want to get it um, before there was tons of other ones to get. Um, so you got th the, th the 4K and the Blu-ray. But yeah, mixed mixed feelings uh, on the 4K and the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's in a slim case as well, which is weird. It's like an American case. So, Batman vs Superman. Uh, next up, Blade Runner. This is how you do a steelbook, 4K steelbook right. It has the 4K, the 3D, the Blu-ray, and the digital download. Uh, 30 quid as well. Why can't Zavi do that? You know, 32 pound for Star Wars, but it's only 4K. Um, Mondo artwork on top of that. <laughs> um, beautiful steelbook. Definitely one of the best ones to come out, maybe ever. Um, definitely my collection. Um, and I really enjoyed the film. I have not watched the 3D. I heard it wasn't all that great in 3D, but the 4K really uh, like stuck out between all the other ones I've got. Um, it was excellent. And uh, the movie was a bit long, maybe a bit too long for my taste. I like long movies, but it was a bit slow in some parts for me. But uh, I love it. Um, I do prefer the original, and I need to get it on 4K. Uh, I want to get that box set, so... This one's still sealed, so I can't even talk about the 4K, but it's Bridge on the River Kwai, um, which I have seen. I had it on Blu-ray for a while, and it's a great movie, great classic. Um, this is the 60, yeah, 60th anniversary. Um, great new cover. I like it quite a bit. Nice slip cover. Um, very, very nice. I, I wasn't going to get this when it was announced, but, you know, it, it went cheap, as you can see. And uh, I was quite interested to see what an old movie like this would look like. So, yeah, and with HDR, so, yeah, Bridge on the River Kwai. Uh, then we've got the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, this came out while I was working in HMV over the Christmas period, and um, it was so hard to get a hold of anywhere, America, Britain, you name it. Um, I know people in America were struggling, people in Britain were struggling, it was sold out everywhere. My store got one copy, so I put it aside for myself and I bought it. Um, so yeah, these are great releases because they really um, gave you a lot for your money because each film comes with the digital copy, the Blu-ray and the 4K. But they also came with a bonus disc, which were the same as the Blu-ray release bonus discs. So, yeah. Got the, yeah, that's the 4K uh, Blu-ray and bonus disc. So you're really getting a great package um, for for each movie. Um, so yeah, so that's um, Batman Begins, Dark Knight. Again, same thing, you're getting the 4K, the Blu-ray, and can't even get it. And the bonus disc, so. If you're fans of the movies, these really are the ultimate additions to pick up. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, because you get everything with it. So, yeah, this one's got like Spanish or French written on it at the bottom. But yeah, so pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Um, so there you go. 
Um, I got it, I was working there so I got it discounted so I think I only paid 30 instead of 42 but uh, yeah, you can get it widely available now so maybe it was just, they never printed many because they didn't know how many they'd sell, I don't, I don't know. Uh, next up, Deepwater Horizon, uh, of course Fire or Flames looks incredible in 4K so obviously this looks really really good and it's a great movie, I have Lone Survivor as well which we'll get to. Um, obviously related, related. Um, but yeah, Deepwater Horizon, got it on Black Friday for like £10. Um, great movie though, Mark Wahlberg. I love Mark Wahlberg, one of my favourite actors, um, leaflets, uh, that's working today, definitely one of my favourites. And uh, yeah, hopefully this Black Friday we'll get more £10 titles. Um, Deepwater Horizon was pretty much the only one that was £10. Um, there was a couple at 15, but that was it. Um, so yeah, America got bloody Wonder Woman for £10, so, or $10, so hopefully we'll get some good deals like that in the future. Dunkirk, um, yeah, many consider this such a beautiful 4K release. Um, definitely agree, it looks fantastic on 4K. Um, it really looks great. Um, of course, you know, he uses the best cameras, he uses the best um, camera shots, so yeah, really worth checking out uh, in 4K. Slipcover, and then again, you get really cool discs in here. You've got the digital, the 4K, the Blu ray, and a bonus disc. So, yeah, very good package again for the 4K. And uh, yeah. I enjoyed the film. I wasn't expecting a massive war, epic battle sequence movie. I was expecting the story of Dunkirk, which I already knew. I'd seen the original and I knew what happened at Dunkirk. I did history, so yeah. Uh, I, I was impressed. I was impressed with the movie. Uh, next up, we've got Hacksaw Ridge. Um, this is an epic war battle sequence movie. But you know, it's it's mostly about his journey through the war and the problems that he faced and struggles that he faced. Mel Gibson, he can direct a movie. Um, if you haven't seen Apocalypto, you have to watch it. It's a masterpiece. Apoc um, Passion of the Christ, not the best movie to watch ever, you know, subject-wise or viewing-wise, but it's a movie to watch. It's it's phenomenal. Um, and Axel Ridge was. Definitely didn't disappoint. Uh, there was a lot of hype for this for me because I love my war movies and uh, this one didn't disappoint. So, yeah. Again, nice slip cover. Uh, this one comes with a booklet um, about the Desmond Doss in real life uh, and then some digital copies. 4K and Blu ray. Uh, there's a good making of one here. It's about 30 minutes to an hour long. I can't remember how, how long. Um, and you really see Mel Gibson's mind at work. Um, I hope he does an R movie soon because this was so successful. So great on 4K as well. It, um, I don't pick up many horror films nowadays, but this was a must. It was a great film. I've seen it a couple times. Um, I love the cover as well. Um, but yeah, Pennywise was so good. He was so good in this movie, um, and and the kids were good. Sometimes kids can be quite annoying in movies, but they all did perfectly fine. Of course, it had the guy from Stranger Things um, in it, so yeah, 4K, Blu-ray. They're all pretty much the same, but yeah, digital, digital copy. Um, yeah, I love the black on black with the case and then the cover. That's awesome. I love it, and then the yellow and the red stick out. I wish there was a 4K steelbook, there was only a Blu-ray one, so I did, because I just got set up, I did go for the, the 4K. Uh, John Wick, uh, had it on Blu-ray, upgraded, it was on the 2 for 30, so I got this, and surprise, surprise, John Wick 2. <laughs> but uh, I loved the first one, such an original movie, brilliant, Keanu Reeves back at it again, with brilliance. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I, I love John Wick. Digital, 4K Blu-ray. Again, same again as always. But yeah, I love it. I've seen it so many times now. Uh, only once on, on 4K, but I've seen the Blu-ray like four or five times. So, yeah. And then the second one, which I've only seen once. I watched it recently and really enjoyed it. Uh, is it Ruby Rose? Is that her name? I, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Ruby Rose from Orange is the New Black. Really good in this. She's, um, she's death in this one. So there's like the same language and things. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome movie. And the 4K is the uncut version. They actually cut the Blu-ray release, but honestly, there's no difference. There's literally like one difference and it doesn't make a difference, if that makes sense. It, it doesn't add anything to the movie. It's literally like basically gore that you see in a, in a suicide scene. If you've seen the movie, you'll know. Um, but yeah, great movie. Really loved it. I loved the music. The music uh, surrounding the suicide scene uh, when they were fighting and the music came on, I loved it. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, as I said, you don't need to get the 4K just for that uncut version because it makes no difference to the movie if you see the uncut or not. Uh, the Lego movie. Totally different movie. <laughs> yeah, um, looks fantastic on 4K. Like the colors are just popping. Um, pretty amazing. Um, I didn't have it on Blu-ray, so I got it pretty cheap on eBay. It was like four pound or something. It was crazy. Digital, nice artwork on the 4K. Blu-ray as well. Um, loved it. Loved all the different characters in one movie. It was pretty cool. Made me want to go and build some Lego. <laughs> um, yeah, the song got a bit annoying though. And then we got the Lego Batman movie. Um, I really wanted to get the and I wanted to get the 3D for this, just because it's Lego. It's bound to be good in 3D. But I did go for the 4K. It was two for thirty. So yeah, I absolutely loved the Lego Batman movie. Um, all the references. All the humour, the story, everything, I absolutely loved. The guy who played Batman, I, I can't, I don't know who it is, uh, did an amazing job. So, I'd love to see a second Lego Batman. It probably won't happen, but I want to see it. Maybe start a petition. <laughs> but yeah, Lego Batman, awesome in 4K. So many colours, dark, bright, it was awesome. Life. Uh, still sealed, have not seen this movie yet, so I obviously can't comment on the movie or the uh, 4K, but I got it in the 2 for 30 and uh, it came with a slip cover, so Jake Gyllenhaal, love all of his films. Lone Survivor, one of the best upgrades from Blu-ray to 4K that I've done so far, um, and I love this film so much. Um, again, one of my favourite films in the last 10 years. Uh, it's just truly amazing. They, they really did a great job telling the story of uh, the soldiers. Yeah, it's brutal, but it's great. Um, nice slip cover, nice and shiny. Uh, similar to the Bourne film ones, um, which I don't have. Uh, digital, Blu-ray 4K. But yeah, I love it. I watch it every year. And uh, it truly looks much better on 4K than Blu-ray. Um, the forest, the shades of green, the, the wood, um, the, the attention to detail in the face and all the dirt and things like that and the injuries, although it's not great to say that, but you know, <laughs> the detail is amazing, so. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Uh, I had to import this and get the Australian release. Uh, no UK release, but uh, yeah, I, again, as I said, my 3D and my normal Blu-rays, I love the Pirates films, so I had to get it. And I'm going to get the 3D eventually, uh, when it's cheaper, because I love the Pirate movies. I'll double dip. So, yeah, 4K and Blu-ray. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the film. I loved Sal... Sal... How do you say his name? Salazar... Sal... Salazar, yeah. And uh, all the new characters, um, 
and returning faces. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, 3D combo as well. 4K 3D for War of the Planet of the Apes. I've seen the 3D, very average, no pop-outs, just depth, but it was average. Uh, the 4K really pops. I love the scene with the pink tree and the snow, because it's such a bright scene, the pink just really stands out, it's beautiful. Um, great movie as well, great looking steelbook. Woody Harrelson was pretty good in this movie. And uh, of course, um, Andy Serkis' as Caesar is just amazing. I'm surprised he hasn't won an Oscar for that performance. Did they not win for one for Gollum? I don't know. I might be talking bollocks there, I don't know. Uh, the Shallows, my personal favourite 4K title. It looks bloody amazing in 4K. And Blake Lively, yeah. <laughs> Um, great movie though. Um, I, I think it's the best shark film since Jaws. I truly believe Indie Wire, is that how you say it? I don't know. I truly believe the quote for once. Uh, it really is. I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, I'd love to have seen a 3D because of all the pop-outs with like the, the stopwatch and the, the FaceTime and the texts. It really should have been 3D. I, I don't know. I think it would have been great. Digital, uh, great artwork on the disc as well. Uh, 4K and then the Blu-ray. Truly, honestly guys, check it out if you haven't. I know most people have, but yeah, definitely check it out. Um, it's, it's a great movie. And uh, 4K is the best disc so far. Uh, getting to the end, um, the Spider-Man Homecoming, I was about to call it Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, again, 4K 3D. I've not checked the 3D out yet. I've seen it twice on 4K. And I love the film. They finally found a great Peter Parker. Although I did like Andrew Garfield. Um, but yeah, this new guy's pretty good. Um, I don't know his name. Is it Tom Holland? Ooh. Oh, I got it right, yes. <laughs> I got so excited. Uh, yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, as I said, I've seen it twice. So there you go, that tells you something. Great looking steelbook. I love when they do the 4K 3D treatment. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I mentioned these in my 3D and my normal Blu-rays. Star Trek. Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Beyond. Awesome. I upgraded these quite early on because I thought they would look fantastic. And they're some of my go-to films. I could watch these all the time. Um, the only thing about the first film is there's no extras, um, only a commentary on the Blu-ray disc and on the 4K disc, but none of the extras from the bonus disc or anything were ported over. So if you're like me and you love your um, special features, you will probably have to keep your Blu-ray um, or your two disc DVD, whatever one you've got. Uh, I've got the Blu-ray, um, but yeah, Blu-ray, 4K. If you have a sound system, crank it up, have the 4K set up and watch it, you'll love it. Um, Into Darkness I've not actually watched on 4K yet. I bought this later than the first and third. I bought this in the 2 for 30 with an hour title. So I haven't seen it yet, but then I bought the first and third together. Because they're my favourites. Into Darkness is my least favourite, but I still love it. Uh, but yeah, and Beyond. Uh, beautiful 4K. The 3D was disappointing, so I actually i am glad I got the 4K. I love the slipcover, it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, again, slim case, but uh, yeah. Digital copy, and boring artwork, Blu-ray and 4K. If you haven't got the 4Ks yet, I highly recommend it, especially Beyond. I think Beyond looks the most beneficial from the 4K than the Blu-ray counterpart. Uh, so yeah, the Star Trek trilogy. I want them to do another one, but I don't know if they are going to. Uh, Sully, directed by uh, Clint Eastwood. I have not seen his latest film, is it 15 to Paris? Something like that, I can't remember the, the name of it. Um, but I loved American Sniper and I love Sully. So yeah, where's American Sniper in 4K? Uh, but yeah, Sully was great, I loved it. I love how he's going back and he's doing true story movies. Um, very well done. And uh, looked great on 4K. Digital. 
4K and Blu-ray. So yeah, uh, not much else to say. Great movie, and uh, the 4K is definitely worth picking up. And the last one, I've just realised I forgot a title. I'll have to go and get it and edit. Um, Thor Ragnarok Steelbook from Zavi. Uh, the 4K is gorgeous. Um, and then I did borrow the 3D disc from my uncle because he got the 3D Steelbook. So I just nick the 3D discs from him uh, if I get the 4K. <laughs> uh, good movie, too much humour. Uh, yeah. The first time I watched it, I was thrown back by the humour, but I liked it. But second time watching it, which was in the 3D, I, I thought there was too much humour. Um, but yeah, great movie. Finally, they did a good horror movie, because the first two weren't that great. Um, and yeah, Hulk. Hulk was great. <laughs> but the 4K was great, so yeah. I'm going to go off, get one more title, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the title I forgot to bring was the Westworld TV series 10 edition uh, in 4K. I uh, picked this up when it came out again, I was in HMV so I got a discount. Um, but yeah, oh, what's that? Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, great show. Uh, I love the original movie um, with Yul Brynner. Great movie, great sci-fi. Um, and I love the TV show and season 2 starts up couple weeks away, uh, end of this month, so pretty awesome. But yeah, I love this set, obviously this was the first TV show, unless you count Planet Earth as a TV show and not documentary. Uh, this is the first one to come out in 4K, um, I'm sure you guys have seen this, um, comes with the standard 4K case, uh, I'll show you quickly, there you go. Very, very nice. And then you got the Blu-rays and the 4Ks mixed together, which is all right, I don't mind it. I actually let my uncle borrow the Blu-rays. So, yeah. Um, then you get the nice booklet, which I won't show because it does have spoilers inside. Digital copy and the contents kind of booklet, I suppose. Uh, does this contain spoilers? Mm, not really. Um, just an episode listing with some pictures. So, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, I like how they did a nice edition of it. It reminded me of the um, Band of Brothers and Pacific editions that they did, which I also have. Um, and yeah, um, they did just announce Game of Thrones. Uh, mixed opinions because it's very pricey, like £45, I'm like, come on, season one is quite old now, everyone's seen it, it should be 30 quid, you know, or 35 like this was, I don't know, maybe it was just a price they put on it while it was first out on pre-order, you know, it's like Amazon, they usually lower the price um, near the time, so hopefully they do that, but who knows, anyway, Westworld, awesome. Um, and then there was one that I forgot to show in the last video. The Zero Dark Thirty Plain Archive Edition. This is the full slip grey edition with the steelbook. Um, I forgot to show this with the rest of the um, editions because uh, it was on a separate shelf. Um, but this is number 503 of 1800. So there you go. We are done. That is finally all of my collection. Eight videos, it's probably going to be about four hours com combined, I don't know, someone could work it out. Yeah, I've been doing this all night. Um, yeah, I'm finally done. <laughs> I've loved doing it because, you know, my last couple collection videos has been very rushed and very basic, whereas I kind of wanted to go more in detail. I know some of them I did rush because... They're main blockbusters, you know, everyone has seen them. Um, so it, I, I didn't want to go through like two hours of videos just because I'm talking about every blockbuster in detail and everyone knows about it, you know. So some of them are rushed, some of them are never. Um, but yeah, I hope you don't mind that I rushed past some series or some, some you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was going to be more videos. I thought it was going to be like 10 or 11 videos but 
it turned out to be eight, so that's pretty good. Um, so I've finally done my definitive collection. Uh, it's going to be a bit to render and upload, but I'm going to do it. Um, I filmed these all in one night, so um, I don't know how all the other parts have done uh, success-wise with comments, likes, and views, and things like that. Uh, if people are enjoying them, so you should be, hopefully. <laughs> Um, but if you haven't seen any of the other parts, um, check the description um, below and uh, I'll have all the other videos linked in the description. Along with my social medias, go and check me out in there. Um, please give the video a like, uh, or as many of them as possible because they took a long time to film, they, took a, they will take a long time to render, I know that for a fact. And upload, I'm not joking guys, it'll probably take about 6 hours plus. Um, I have less than a megabyte upload. So, yeah, I have really crap internet, you don't believe it. Um, but yeah, so any feedback would be great, guys, or a comment, or just a like. Um, you know, it takes two seconds, so. Really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As I said, check my social medias down below, and all the other parts um, will be down below. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you there. So, stay awesome. Peace.